Former Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin distanced himself from UMNO's court cluster today despite claiming trial for four counts of abuse of power and two money laundering charges involving 232.5 million ringgit. Speaking to supporters outside the Kuala Lumpur court complex today, Barikata National Chairperson said he should not be compared to UMNO President Ahmad Zahid Hamidi. Oleh kerana saya tidak menerima rasuah, maka mereka mencipta kesalahan lain untuk mengesahkan dakwaan Presiden AMNO bahawa akan wujud kluster mahkamah baru dalam kalangan pimpinan Perikatan Nasional. Dia ingin menyamakan saya dengan dirinya. Tentu sekali berbeza. Dia dituduh menggunakan wang yayasan untuk kegunaan diri sendiri. Sedangkan saya tidak ada satu sen pun wang yang masuk ke poket saya sendiri. He also disputed the charges as being politically motivated. Jelas pendakwaan ke atas saya adalah satu bentuk pemangsaan politik yang terancang. Muhyiddin added that would leave it to the Bersatu Supreme Council to determine whether or not he should continue serving as party president. Ya, saya akan bawa kedudukan saya kepada majlis tertinggi parti uh, untuk mereka memutuskan. Kerana saya berbeza dengan Wan Saiful Wan Jan, uh, saya adalah presiden yang dipilih oleh parti. Saya akan serah pada majlis tertinggi dalam tempoh yang paling dekat dan apa saja keputusan yang mereka buat, saya akan akut. Clad in a black suit, Muhyiddin was charged this morning before Kuala Lumpur Sessions Court Judge Azura Alwi. The four abuse of power charges, framed under Section 23, Bracket 1 of the MACC Act 2009, accused Muhyiddin of using his position as then Premier and Bersatu President for an inducement of 232.5 million ringgit from three companies and an individual between 2020 and 2021. The three companies are Bukhari Equity Sendirian Berhad, Nepturis Sendirian Berhad, and Mumfor Sendirian Berhad, while the individual in question is Azman Yusuf. The two money laundering charges were laid out under Section 4, Bracket 1, Bracket B of the Anti-Money Laundering, Anti-Terrorism Financing and Proceeds of Unlawful Activities Act 2001, read with Section 87, Bracket 1 of the same Act. The 76-year-old is accused of receiving 120 million ringgit of proceeds from illegal activity from Bukhari Equity Sandirian Berhad between February 25, 2021 and July 8, 2022. The money laundering was allegedly committed by receiving money banked into Bersatu's account. The Pago MP faces 20 years in jail and a fine five times the amount of gratification involved or 10,000 ringgit, whichever is higher for the abuse of power charges. For the money laundering case, he may be sentenced to imprisonment of 15 years and fined five times the amount involved or 5 million ringgit, whichever is higher. Azura then granted bail at 2 million ringgit with two local sureties and ordered the accused's passport be surrendered to the court. The judge also set May 26 for mention. Later this morning, Muhyiddin posted the 2 million ringgit bail and was released. Muhyiddin is expected to face another charge at the Shah Alam Courts Complex on Monday.